Hello, everyone, and welcome. Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome and congratulations for stumbling upon me. I am really excited about this video because I have had quite the skincare journey, so let's get to it. I decided not to wear any makeup today because I wanted you guys to really see what my skin is like. Just to give you a little, little background, I have very dry skin. And this is due to a medication for acne that I'm taking called Accutane. It's super strong and I have gone through, um, you know, the process of taking like topical creams that didn't work for me and just dried me out, but I still had acne, the um, antibiotic route and that didn't work either. So now I'm on Accutane, which is really intense. It's just uh, bare bones. It's just an acne medication. It's nothing that crazy. You do have to go through like a crazy process to actually get the Accutane. You have to register on iPledge and go to your doctor every month, at least women do, because uh, we cannot get pregnant. We have to be on two forms of birth control. Yeah, just a little bit about that. Um, I live in Arizona, so the heat, the dry heat here is just insane. It's literally like, 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 like dry as a tumbleweed. I'm also acne prone and this happened, um, I had a little bit of acne in high school and I took Accutane for the first time as a junior in high school and I didn't finish it because I didn't think I needed it. I was in sports and it hurt my joints. I hated, I hated working out because it hurt a lot. Um, so I stopped taking it after a month or two and so um, the effects of that were that then as a sophomore in college, I got acne again. So devastated because it's like the time that you wanna feel cute and you wanna like go out, but you're really insecure about like covering up this pimple that looks like um, Mount Rushmore. I have some acne here, a lot of acne scars. These are not scars, these are actually active breakouts um, that I pick at. I'm human. Dry, acne prone skin, continue watching. Starting off, we're gonna start with moisturizers. I have a couple here that are my go-to. My mom has been watching my recent videos and she told me to enunciate so that people can hear what I'm saying. So the first item I have for dry skin is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. It's right here. Alrighty, so if you open it up, it has Relatively no scent. I think it's just the scent of the, the ingredients in there. It's just a white cream. As you can see, I've like, it's almost maybe halfway. Um, it's really, really moisturizing. It is a 24 hour everyday hydrating formula with extracts of glacial glycoproteins and desert plants, which is kind of vague, like desert plants, like which ones? I live in the desert, tell me more. It's really good for a night cream. And I mix this with the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Now this was a splurge item. Here you can see the packaging. It's a replenishing elixir of pure essential oils and distilled botanicals to visibly restore the appearance of skin by morning. But yeah, it's a night oil. I actually mix these two together, put a little bit of the moisturizer on my hand, put a few, maybe two drops of this, mix it and then put it on my face. And it really sinks in and it doesn't sink in too fast because sometimes when it sinks in too fast, I'm like, did it do anything? Am I still dry? Uh, so this is, really good for uh, really dry skin. It has not caused me any breakouts, so. Good stuff. Next. Uh, this is kind of a dupe, and it's not um, exactly the consistency of the other one. Uh, this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. Did you hear that enunciation, Mom? Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. Um, you can get this at CVS. It's a drugstore product. It's Neutrogena, and it has hyaluronic acid, so I'm, Assuming that it's good for my scars because I think that it good, it's good for cell turnover. It is a blue kind of gel consistency. I know they have a few different formulas of this. I think they have like a gel and a cream or something like that. Um, and it's really good for the same reason. It hydrates your skin. It sinks in. And I can even use this as um, a moisturizer before makeup. Good stuff. Next. Okay, so next we're going to go into cleansers. So I have tried maybe a thousand cleansers in my life. And... Because I was acne prone, I always use the acne cleansers. Now, this did not help because I think a lot of the time it's assumed that if you have acne, you're oily. Because I was dry, I was just drying out my skin more, causing more breakouts. Not good. 
And I went to my dermatologist, uh, especially when I started Accutane and everything, and they recommended a really gentle cleanser. So I got the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser for normal to dry skin. That's this one right here. I use it every day. Um, and you can even use it, I think, morning and night because it is so gentle. This says it cleanses, hydrates, and helps restore the protective skin barrier. I believe it does. It actually makes my skin feel hydrated but clean. It doesn't give me that squeaky, 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 squeaky clean feeling that a lot of like acne cleansers do. Next step that is like kind of essential in any routine is sunscreen. You've probably heard this in like a hundred other videos but sunscreen is important because of sun damage and you may not see it like now when you know when you're 16 17 18 19 20 but when you're older you do get sunspots you can even get skin cancers which are really really dangerous and because i am in the desert and it is arizona and the sun literally beats down on you it can get up to 120 some degrees here in the summer so you want to be using a sunscreen um this is the elta md skincare sunscreen the uv spray spf 46 there is the packaging i got this at my dermatologist's office but i think you can also get it online um, it's a spray on sunscreen very water resistant uva uvb protection transparent zinc oxide and you can use it as a full body sunscreen. I use it for my face. Sometimes when I put on sunscreen, my biggest issue with sunscreen is that it pills up after you put makeup on. So you put on foundation and it just starts like peeling off and your makeup is ruined and you have to start over and it's just a mess. That one does not do that on me. Next. This one is half skincare, half makeup related. This is the Garnier Skincare Micellar Water. It says in Spanish because I bought it, I think in Mexico. So, but it's the same product. It's Here it is. But yeah, it's just the micellar water. Um, it says that it takes off makeup, it cleans, and it tones your skin. It definitely does all of that, and it feels just like water. And you don't have to tug a lot because it, it does glide um, in the same way that water does. The one thing is it does not take off my mascara or like a, like a very um, like water-resistant eyeliner. It will not do that unless I really rub so that... For that reason, I go in with other products to remove that. And a lot of the times what I do is just get a little bit of Vaseline and put it on my eyes to break down that mascara. And then I wipe with this. This is good stuff. Next, this is just a toner. Nothing that exciting. It's the Lush Breath of Fresh Air Toner. Spritz on this blend of cooling aloe vera, soothing rose and clarifying herbs for smooth, balanced skin. See, I don't know if that's all it's hyped up. Like, I don't know the clarifying herbs like make my skin smooth, but it definitely like clears up some redness and it does make me feel like really refreshed. I always see like makeup gurus like putting on the spritz and they just like look so glamorous but it actually like oh it's like kind of alarming oh here's the here's the bottle mine was made by marlin okay so this product is um an exfoliator a face exfoliator a face exfoliator and it's the avino active naturals positively radiant skin brightening daily scrub you're welcome mom moisture rich soy extract and naturally derived gently exfoliating granules this is the packaging. It was very inexpensive at uh, either Walgreens or CVS, but I do really like it. And let me tell you, I'm kind of a skincare freak, so I've gone like the high-end exfoliating route, the low-end exfoliating route, the the ones where it's like a peel and uh, that exfoliates. I haven't liked any of those as much as I've liked this one, and the reason is because it is tiny little granules, and for my sensitive skin, it does not irritate me, but it does the job of taking off your dead skin. Um, it doesn't cause me breakouts. Um, it does say um, it's a skin brightening daily scrub. I have not yet seen any brightening of like my acne scars. I think that I would need something a little bit more potent to do that. So those are my two cents. Moving on. Okay, these are my last two products. This one here is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and depuff. Uh, this little bad boy, I've literally used up almost all of it. It's probably going to be in an empty soon. Do you see that? You I, you can see my nails just like scraping through the rest of it. But um, a little bit goes a long way. This has lasted me a really long time. It is the one eye cream I've used where I do see a difference because um, I'm a student. I have long hours of studying. 
sometimes I can stay up all night studying and I get those really dark circles under my eyes and if you put this on it even has a little bit of an iridescent property um, that if you put it on it makes your eyes just like immediately look a little bit brighter but over the course of using it for several months you can actually see like a difference even without that iridescent property if you have nothing on your eyes look a little bit less dark good almost forgot to mention my holy grail skincare product this is just magic in a bottle for dry skin. This is the Aquaphor Healing Ointment. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this in like all of my videos, but it is advanced therapy for dry, cracked, or irritated skin. Now, for someone with oilier skin, I don't recommend it for the face. However, for lips and um, just like dry areas or dry patches, it is amazing as well as it is for the skin, like the body. But for me, I use it all over my face at night. Sometimes I mix it in with a moisturizer or sometimes I mix it in with an oil to give it a little bit more slippery consistency so it's a little bit thinner. But it is great, 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 great for clearing up those dry patches. And as you know, I love looking uh, like an oily baby. So sometimes I call myself the peanut butter baby because I just feel like gooped up. <laughs> and I like that feeling personally. And I like going to sleep with... Um, feeling like really moisturized. It's clinically proven to restore smooth, healthy skin, and I agree. A big tub of these, I have a big tub, and that's $12, so this is really inexpensive, and you can get it at Target, CVS, Walgreens, and it's dermatologist recommended brand number one for dry, cracked skin. I agree. Thank you so much for tuning in. I post three to even four times a week. Ooh, woo, woo, woo. Subscribe, it's free. You get all this for free. Also, today is Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all of the people watching. I hope you're enjoying it, and have a beautiful Monday!